The official start of summer is fast approaching, and with it, all of your fun plans. Vacations and weddings and graduations and outdoor festivals and flea markets. And as the temperature gets warmer, our clothes get lighter and thinner and quite frankly, a whole lot less material, which is awesome. And it can also bring to the surface some style conundrums. So this month is focused on sharing tips and easy techniques that you can utilize to dress towards your body shape in this super hot season. In this first video, we're gonna talk about why you are not an apple, a pear, or a banana, and what we do instead. I'm Angela, your petite style coach, and when you're ready, let's jump in. Now, first things first, what do I have against fruit salads and nothing, unless we are talking about them in relationship to our figure? And the reason why is this. So if you've if we've been connected for a while, then you know I have that five-step process to helping a woman find her personal style. The very first step is body shape. And when I first started coaching clients, I heard a whole lot of, I'm an apple, and that means that my shoulders are too broad, or my bust is too big, or I'm a pear, and my hips are too wide, or my butt's too big. It was always a, this is my fruit, and this is why it's bad or wrong. Now, there is not a woman on the planet who can stand in her closet every single morning, get dressed, pick herself apart, have all that negative thinking, and then brush that aside, leave the house feeling completely confident, amazing, and ready to crush her goals. So we do it a little bit different. The very first thing we do is we pick your favorite feature. And then we focus on emphasizing the heck out of it. Now, when it comes to favorite features, you can choose anything. There's two that with all of my clients are definitely the most popular. The first one is bust and the second one is legs. However, clients have picked waist or bum. I had a client pick her arms, had another client who picked her neck and her decollete. She loved that area about herself. It doesn't matter, you can pick whatever you want. And when we start dressing to emphasize your favorite feature, it will change everything. Now, there's a couple things that usually bubble up right about now. The first one is, oh my gosh, if I pick my bust, does that mean I'm gonna have to wear low cut blouses, show a lot of skin, flash a lot of cleavage, and all of that? Or if I choose my legs, does that mean like I can't ever wear anything but like hoochie mama length skirts ever again? And please rest assured, there are completely tasteful, classic, career and work appropriate ways to accentuate your favorite feature. So no worries about that. The second thing that usually bubbles up is uh, that's fine. I can pick my favorite feature, but that doesn't also mean that there's not areas that I want to conceal. Again, it's completely fine. This isn't a Pollyanna rose-colored glasses type of thing where we don't ever talk about anything that we don't love. It's just not what we focus on first. So if your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to give it a thought and figure out what your very favorite feature is. And then you'll wanna make sure to ring the bell at the top of the profile so that you don't miss out on a single tip or technique to help you dress for your body shape this summer. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, until next time, have fun and stay stylish. Bye-bye.